Howdy and salutations. Welcome to Kiwi Burgers Farm. I've been getting a lot of questions about how I do my processes with my milk. So today's adventure is going to be butter. I have already made one batch and I'll explain it as we go. So I get a paper dowel down, two of them, lay it down. As you can see, it's to get rid of more liquid. So we are going to grab ourselves a blender. You can literally do it in a blender, you can do a hand mixer, you can do the stand mixer, you can put it in a mason jar and shake it, you can literally use a butter churn or the paddle churn. You have options when you make butter. So stay tuned, let's learn. So what fits in my blender is a good quart, either two pints or a quart, I would not go above that because then it like over fills and it's not a good time so I like to pour that in and get all the goodies out with a you know spatula. I take my lid put it on because it splatters a little and then I have this handy dandy knife to use when it gets stuck just wait. I like to pulse it you can put your little doodad on if you feel safer that way and just pulse it gets thick. All right, we've gotten to the point where it has stopped mixing, so I will give it a little sticky stick. Oh, there it goes. And I need both my hands for this, so like basically you just keep pulsing it, pulsing it, stirring when it gets the air bubbles until you make butter. Just wait and wait and wait. Woo. It will pop at some point, like it'll get thick and then it'll pop and then it'll get super liquidy again. Keep going. Look, clumps of butter. <laughs> Woo, you're done. Pop that lid off and let's drain some buttermilk. You can take your buttermilk and put it in a glass jar or whatever you like to keep it in. Um, I'm using obviously my own cow's milk so that buttermilk will not last more than six to seven days. You can freeze it and use it whenever you want to in like biscuits or pancakes or muffins or wherever. It, it makes such a difference in your food. Awesome. I have so much already in my freezer. I'm gonna give mine to the chickens. Whee! That's not time yet! And then I need my hand to, you know, not drop all my awesome butter in here. Now I have this like special mat that I kind of just plop my butter on. And then we get ready to squeeze it. Hopefully I can do this while, you know, holding my phone and grabbing butter. I don't know. We'll see. You, might, you guys might just fall. Who knows? So take the butter, squeeze all that juice out. Yep, that's what I was afraid of. Get back. Yeah. There we go. So just squeeze it out. Sorry for the, you know, not being able to see really well. But yeah, get all that out. You can even run it under some cold water to help you get it out. But just squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Enjoy your butter. Once you got as much uh, buttermilk out of it as you could, I put it on, a, again, a two-layer paper towel. Flatten it out as good as I can, and then I place another two-layer towel and press. So I can just soak up all that extra stuff I just couldn't get out. It's almost never perfect, but that's life. And again, since it's real, it doesn't last more than six or seven days. So I usually freeze all my butter, and when I need it, I pull it out as I need it. That's butter. Oh, gotta add the fact. If you wanna make it salted, what I've learned is about every about every quart, you put about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. But that's up to you, what you like. Have fun with it. Also, I forgot to add, I had a friend buy me butter mold. 
And then I bought another one. Guess where they came from? Amazon! Make sure you pack them real good in there. So there's no like bubbles or blobs or blips. But uh, yeah, pretty cool.